What's up, guys? It's your boy, The Bad Wolf. Been a long time? I know. Been on lockdown. Been working. Been trying to get to make some more videos for you guys, but the GOV has been like, locked up, they won't let me out. Oh, but I'm essential, so I have been out there uh, doing my thing and uh, keeping the economy going, if you will. So, all right, let's get to it. So this video is basically going to be about, um, once again, chasing the elusive, uh, either four star, five star, um, but even more so about uh, proving to them that you are a state citizen, a U.S. national, um, you're free, um, you're sovereign, and not a 14th Amendment citizen. So now in this you know, a uh, forum, I guess, that uh, we have established here. Um, many viewers out there have actually come to me and given me some pieces of advice, some information, things of that nature. And one of the things that came up uh, for confidentiality, I won't give their name. I don't know if they want that out there. Uh, they know who they are. Um, and all the other people who've helped me and work with me, thank you guys as well. Um, Cause like I said, I'm just trying to, you know, do this for everybody, uh, not just myself. I've already accomplished the majority of these things. So, um, like I said, this is for those people who are trying to, you know, get, get themselves to that, that point where you can walk around feeling free. So, um, this person gave me a, like we already have our explanatory, um, statements um the ones you guys have made your own yourselves the ones i have the ones you guys have get bought in from me and um which by the way thank you for those and the donations um taking those and modified them for your own use one of the things that uh, i never came across which i'm actually going to do uh, when i uh, resubmit mine is what i have right here okay so this is a statement of posterity original status and nationality, um, or in short terms, your family lineage. Now, why is that important? Okay, well, the particular person I was working with said that, um, and this is all validated, that they were actually working with another person online who, you know, provides this kind of information, basically the same stuff that I'm doing or um, similar to, and um, one of the such, you know, um, has this type of information, and on it, it basically states that I, my name, uh, the house of my last name, um, a free man, Christian living, um, having no first-hand knowledge of when or where I was given birth, um, have a certificate, a certified certificate of live birth issued from, you know, the Commonwealth of Wisconsin, you know, meaning of the people in this particular state, whichever state you, you're in. Um, and then it goes on to say that this Department of Health and Vital Records that contains it may or may not contain errors. Uh, furthermore, according to our family records, here's some history. Now, the reason why this is important is because you want to express to them truly that in, in, in case like you get your card or your book back and they, you know, either denied your claim or they denied you to be a national, um, something of that line. Basically, they, they're trying to say that you're still a slave, which, as we all know, is, you know, 14th Amendment citizen of the United States. Okay. Now, hold on. Uh, let's see. What do we got in here? Whew. Okay. So behind me here in July, on July 28th, um, 1868, that is when the 14th Amendment um, was passed and people, white or black or slaves or whoever, uh, were able to become citizens. So what this is going to do for you is you're going to fill out one of these. You can make your own. It doesn't have to be this one, though if you want this specific one, you're more than welcome to buy it. Um, but you don't need to, as I always try to tell everybody with everything. Um, and basically what it is, is just going to say that your family um, line through your parents, your parents' parents, your parents' parents' parents, your parents' 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 parents', parents, parents and so forth. You get the idea. Okay, you're going to put down the male and female on each side, um, their parents, you know, were they, you know, Christian, were they Muslim, Jew, whatever, where they came from, how they got here. Um, and if they were, you know, on here, we're declaring that all of ours because they weren't slaves. 
Um, some people were, some people have Native American in their family. Some people have a mix of whatever. So basically what I did is I went through and, and put down our family history. And for instance, if some of them were slaves um, back that far, I didn't know about it. Um, <clears throat> and I'm denouncing it, you know, that that was against their will. And since then they became, um, you know, state citizens or U.S. nationals, if you will. And so I'm declaring that this is my version of my birth and of family lineage. And um, I do know for a fact that we have uh, Apache, Cherokee, French Creole, obviously African American, um, some white, um, Canadian, Australian, British, all kind of other things in my family. Um, so I'm claiming all of those. On here, I've got our birth flags, um, our birth flags, uh, family flags, family crests, Apache Nation, Cherokee Nation, um, the ones that I know for sure that I'm going to claim. Um, I also don't recommend doing those, uh, what is it, Gene 21 or whatever else, because when you give them your DNA, you're basically saying that they have access to, I mean, yeah, it's good to know about where your people came from, but they also can use that against you with the GOV to, to trace people down in your family because you're giving them permission to your DNA. And if they want to sell that or use it for whatever purposes they have, you've given them permission. Okay, if they want to give it to aliens for cloning, if you want to be on that level, um, they can do that, you know, because you gave them your DNA. So just saying, be kind of careful with that stuff. If you don't really care, hey, do it. It's not a biggie. Probably won't see half of that anyway come to light. But just so you're aware. All right. If you didn't know by now, I am crazy and I am into all that kind of stuff. So that's just me. So anyway, back to the thing here. Um, so yeah, it doesn't have to be long. It could be one page, two page. Um, I have ours going back to like 1849. Um, and basically uh, depicting all that information. What you're going to want to do is also have on your last sheet a spot for your a notary. Because once again, if you know anything about me, uh, you'll know that... Um, uh, notaries have the power of the state or of the country um, as a secretary, authorized powers transfer or delegated to them when they sign it. Um, you've got a witness of not only them, but the state. Um, so mine at the bank here, they know me quite well. I walk up and say, hey, I need some more. And they're like, yep, yeah, we know, Mr. Lovett, we, we got you. Just, you know, send it right in. Like even today, went through the drive through the slot. Everybody's like, I was like, yeah, they know me. So... That's the way they should know you, too. All right, so I got that all done, and when I update my passport, uh, probably in another couple months, uh, I'm going to do a... Oh, it needs to be updated, apparently. Awesome timing. Um, do another uh, DS-82, or I might even do a DS-11, and include this on here so that they know specifically uh, none of our people were slaves, and that um, anybody who might have been was denounced or was a part of it through trickery or against you know force of will anybody since then um you know apply for the benefits only because you know they were told to in which case um you know i'm denying having any knowledge of that and i'm basing mine off of uh my parents who were not and even if they did apply for you know citizenship or social security cards um, or whatever else. It was only for, uh, you know, say business purposes or whatever else. And uh, that was not their wish. They didn't have that knowledge. And this proves that our family weren't just slaves brought over here. So you kind of get the idea of where I'm going with this. So this might be a key piece. Um, I will sell this separately if somebody wants it. If you want to include it in your, your own explanatory statement or if you want, um, you know, the statement I have and this, you know, we can combine those together for, you know, pretty cheap. Um, also, I just find, found out, like, uh, apparently there's other groups or another person um, selling the exact same explanatory statement uh, that I provide for, like, up to $5,000. That's crazy. But if any of you want to send me that kind of money for it, um, you're more than welcome to. I'm okay. I will not turn you down. You get unlimited phone calls, um, assistance. <laughs> <laughs> just saying uh wow um but yeah i do sell mine for cheap um maybe that makes them mad i don't know don't really care i said i'm just here trying to get people uh the knowledge and uh just hey send a thank you by telling people your friends and family about the 
um, you know, the site and what we're trying to do here. And I appreciate it. So for all those who have supported, I appreciate you. Don't forget to hit that bell like subscribe on the way out. The bad wolf is going to, my computer's just doing all kinds of stuff. Um, uh, subscribe, like, like videos, more are coming. Talk to you later. Enjoy the day. Stay healthy and away from COVID. Talk to you later.